EU finance ministers have given the final green light to 12 out of 27 countries' pandemic recovery plans, meaning that these member states, including France and Germany, will start receiving the first batch of money within weeks. It won't be all of the requested funds in one go, just the first 13% for now, but it's an important step towards repairing the bloc's battered economies. It is really a big day, but of course uh, this uh, day uh, is, uh, has also some obligations for the states because now it's important how to fulfill uh, milestones, how to fulfill all the targets uh, which are uh, uh, in these plans. And uh, important is also not the amount of money, but important is also uh, quality of money. It means uh, important is how to invest. Brussels will make a total of 750 billion euros available to all member states over the next six years. To date, 25 EU countries have submitted their national recovery plans, leaving just Bulgaria and the Netherlands to hand theirs in. The European Commission must first approve each proposal, followed by the European Council, which is made up of the EU's 27 governments. The Commission has so far approved 16 plans, but with Hungary, the evaluation deadline has been extended. And according to the Hungarian government, this is unjustified. The documents related to the Hungarian Recovery Fund are excellent documents. There is no real reason for any institution of the European Union to reject the Hungarian plan. Negotiations are taking place. Mixing European politics and finance would obviously be unacceptable if that were the case. Budapest's plan is said to be under such scrutiny due to the high risk of corruption. But with so much anger recently over the country's anti-LGBT law, all of this, even if not officially, is complicating the process. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.